Hello crafters, today we're going to cover how to edit nodes and close open path. So once you bring your image in, you're going to go up to path, trace bitmap, update, okay, close your trace bitmap window. You're going to delete your original. So see how this image traced. I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little better. This image traced where you have open nodes here where the lines aren't meeting or touching. You have open nodes here. Where the lines are not meeting and touching. So, we're going to cover how to close those nodes by editing and deleting and combining. So, we're going to zoom out. You're going to go to your selector tool, select. Now, you can double click. And once you double click, you see you'll go down to the edit pass by nodes is highlighted. You go back up to your selector tool and put some box around it again. Or you can go to your, just click on your edit pass by nodes. But if you double click, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to highlight that. And you're going to be able to see your nodes. Now if you zoom in to this top of these fingertips here, you can see the, that the nodes and the lines aren't meeting. So if you wanted to close this path, what you need to do is see there's a node here and a node here. You have to determine which node would make this design look better to drag. So if you click on that node, see how it turns it red and blue, and drag it. See how it bends and it'll move in this one. So this one wouldn't, won't have a good effect by moving it. So we're going to select this one, click and drag that node to close that path. Once you click and drag it to meet the other line, you can release it, but it's still highlighted. So go to your shift button, hold down shift, select another node of the line that you drag that node into. And now you have these two nodes highlighted. Go up to Path and go down to Union. And once you go down to Union, you'll now see that those nodes made one line. But this doesn't look too much like a finger anymore. So we're going to double click that. See how this is pointed? Select that node and hit Delete. Okay, see how it rounds it some? And now I want you to select that node and delete, and this node and delete. And now it's giving it a more rounded appearance. Also select that node and delete. And now you can once you get your nodes back, it's no it's not a node here. But the, see how this black line curves? You can click and drag and make that round. And see how this has kind of got a dip in it? If you select that node and delete it. Now if you zoom out, see how that's looking more like a finger. Now let's zoom back in. We didn't do anything to this finger, 
it just traced that way because it was drawn that way. But we wanted to get a more realistic look. So we'll select that node and delete. And now that it's deleted, we can drag it and give it a more round appearance. And delete that node. So that makes it better. So now we're going to zoom out again. Let's see what else we need to work on. So let's zoom back in. We're going to work on this finger. If you double click, it'll give you your nodes again. So now here we need to determine what we need to click and drag. We'll just drag that and make kind of an arch. Now, as you see, when we clicked and dragged this one, we didn't even move a node. We just moved the line. So we need to highlight a node of the line. So this would be a node of the line. These are nodes of the line. Just any node of the line that you have clicked and dragged. So we can highlight this node, hold down your shift button, button and select a node from the other line that you, that you curved it into. Go up to Path, Union, now that's all one line. Now you can start deleting, select your node. And delete, start deleting nodes to make it a more round appearance. Give it a more round appearance. And delete this node. And see how by deleting that node, it gave us a really thin line here. We try not to have really thin lines, especially when we work on vinyl. So you can just take and pull it out a little bit. Same here. And now we have a gap here. So let's zoom in. And see what we can do about this gap. Double click so you can get your nodes. We can take this point. Drag it down into this line. It's already selected. So you hold down your shift key, select another node, go up to path, union. Now we still have a really thin line, so pull this over, thicken the line up, and let's zoom out. And you continue to do the same thing until you get a really nice image and these kind of images when you have to go in and edit the nodes and combine them takes some time to go in and edit them So you just continue to do it, the whole entire image, until you completely got a nice image like you want. It. But that's how you edit the late nodes and combine and pass.